Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in search engine optimization, we'll discuss about Google Analytics. What Google Analytics are, is all about, why Google Analytics is so important in search engine optimization and what are the benefits of using Google Analytics and most importantly, we'll see a live demo of how you can actually create a Google Analytics account for your website and track the results. Let's check them out. What in the first place Google Analytics is all about? Google Analytics is an analytical tool that helps companies to study, monitor, analyze the user's behavior on the website to take informed decisions. If you have a business, you have a website. If you have a website, the website traffic comes to that website. You need to track and see, analyze the user's behavior on your website which is an extremely crucial factor in generating business for your website by tweaking, enhancing and updating your website based on the user behavior on the website. If I have a business and I am selling certain products on my website, I need to know how many visitors are coming to my website, from where they are coming what are the pages they are browsing, how much time they are spending, so on and so forth. These are all the features that Google Analytics provides you for free so that you can improve your business by updating your sites according to the behavior of the users who are coming to your website. How Google Analytics works actually? Insert Google Analytics code on every page of the website. What you need to do is you need to go to the site analytics.google.com if you are a new user you have to log in there once you log in google provide you a step by step process how actually you can register your website you can register from where you are coming the time zone after analyzing all this information google will provide you certain code about for eight six to eight lines of code which is a unique code generated for your website what you need to do is you can copy that code and paste it in each and every page of your website which is extremely important because when you paste that code google analytics code is integrated with your website and that is how google analytics tracks the user behavior on the website. Google Analytics collects the user data, stores the data, processes, organizes the data. When you integrate the Google Analytics code on your website and as days goes on when the traffic or the visitors come to your website, all the visitors information like the country, where they are coming from, how much time they are spending, what are the pages they are visiting, all this information is collected by Google Analytics. They are stored, they are processed and they provide the analytical information for you so that you can understand the user behavior on your website. Server responds to your Google Analytics accounts. The server actually responds to the Google Analytics account and the tracking information is available in your account. Google Analytics features, what are the features that actually Google provides you in analyzing your website? How many people visit the website? Total number of people visiting per day, per week, per month. It shows a graphical representation of how the traffic is going up and down based on the visitors coming to your website. Where do the visitors live? Where actually are the users coming from? Which country they are coming from? Which city they are coming from? This information is also available. Is there a need for mobile friendly website? It also information is available. Which other websites send traffic to the website? The, the traffic that comes to your website may come from Google, may come from some other blogs, may come from social media. They can be organic, they can be paid. If you are running a PPC campaign, an AdWords campaign, that is an inorganic traffic. That is actually paid traffic. How many people are coming organically? How many people are coming through paid advertising? How many people are coming from different other websites? Which marketing taxes drive the most traffic to your website? The crucial information. When you analyze the information, you will get this information. Which pages of the website are the most popular? 
if there are about 100 pages on your website, when the traffic comes to the website, some people come to the home page, they may leave from there. Some people go to certain pages, some people may not go to certain pages. And which are the most popular pages means, which are the most viewed pages on your website. This information is also provided. How many visitors get got converted into leads and customers? If this information is actually related with the PPC campaign that you run, PPC campaigns, AdWords campaigns can also be integrated with Google Analytics and all the campaigns that you run in PPC, in AdWords actually gives you the complete information, the leads and the customers that you can track from the AdWords campaign to Google Analytics account. How to improve the website speed? The website speed is also displayed based on the several factors that Google provides. You can also consider of improving the site's speed so that you can improve the performance of the site. Which blog content the visitors like the most? If you have a blog and there are several categories that you are talking about, you can talk about SEO, you can talk about social media, you can talk about link building, you can talk about uh, viral marketing, you can talk about content marketing, these are the various categories available if you have a blog and Google provides you which are the most visited pages on your blog. Place the converting visitors belong, where they are coming from. This is an important feature that actually Google Analytics provides you so that you can improve, enhance, tweak your website to drive traffic, more traffic to your website. Now let us see how actually you can create a Google Analytics account and check out the results. We are actually going to Google Analytics account. This is an account and you can log into Google Analytics account, Google Analytics account by the Gmail account you may have or you may actually create a new account for the analytics code. I am actually logging right now in the account from my Gmail account. Now this is actually the Google Analytics page, the home page that the user has logged in for the first time. And what is the information it provides? It provides three simple steps, sign into Google Analytics, add tracking code and third is learn more about the audience. These are the three important steps that you need to first accomplish to actually start using Google Analytics. Now what I'll do is, I'll actually sign in right now, start using Google Analytics. Now this is actually a new account that we have created. What you would like to do, website or a mobile app, you need to choose what is actually that you want to track. Now tracking method is actually displayed here, signing into the account, account name that you need to mention, what is the account name that you are talking about, it can be a level of organization content and more tracking IDs. Setting up the properties, what is the website name that you want to track and what is the website URL, website name can be just a words but the URL has to be given here, what is the example, example that the URL can give here and what is the industry it belongs to, you can select the particular industry your website belongs to, reporting time zone, when do you want actually the reporting to be received by you from Google Analytics, you can set the reporting time zone based on which country you live in and data sharing information and this information, entire information has to be provided to Google so that it will give you the tracking code based on these factors. Now what we will do is, we will go into account creation. Now what I do is, I create an account, this is actually the URL that I am giving. I have given the company name, I have given the what, what this website is all about, that is SEO tips and I have given the website name as Stars SEO. Now I am actually selecting a particular industry, what industry that I want this to be put into. I can, I can choose any industry, it can be, I have selected for example as a news industry and what is the time zone that I am giving, I am keeping with the United States time zone, I am going along with the same information. Now what I do is, I have done with all this information, get tracking code is what is showing, I have given the complete information here with the information. 
Now what I am asking Google is get me the tracking ID. It is actually providing me the tracking ID here if you see here. There are certain terms and conditions that Google displays you here that you need to accept here. These are the I accept the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are accepted. Now what Google is doing here is actually providing me the tracking ID. If you see here, this is the tracking ID for your Google Analytics property. If you are using a third party web hosting, you can use GoDaddy or WordPress. This is a basic information. I say, okay, I got it. Now what I have Google has given me, I have given my website name, my company name, my URL of the website and the time zone that I want and which in industry that I belong to. When I give the complete information to Google Analytics, what Google Analytics has taken that information and provided me the tracking ID. This is the unique tracking ID that you see here. And this is actually the code that you see that Google Analytics has provided me. This part is the code. Now what Google clearly, the analytics clearly tells you, you need to copy this code from here up to this point, from here to here and paste it in each and every page of your website, which is extremely important. You can, the, the information is provided. This is a universally added tracking code for the public to tell all the benefits of the universal properties, copy and paste, copy and paste into every page you want to track that Google clearly tells us. And how you have to do it, how you can do it, Google also provides that information. If you are using a PHP implementation, you can do it. If you can dynamic content implementation, you can do it. Very simple factor is you just have to copy and paste it in the body part. What it says is you have to copy and paste in the body part of your website so that the integration of the Google Analytics happens in your website. This code has to be copied. Once you are done, you have installed Google Analytics. Now that we have seen how a Google Analytics account can be created, the website information is given to the Google Analytics, Google Analytics provides us the code to be integrated on the website and that code has to be implemented on the website to track the analytical information of your website. Now what I'll show you right now is an existing Google Analytics account where the results are being tracked and go how Google Analytics shows you the results of a tracking of a website. Now this is actually what you see. Right now I am logged in into an existing Google Analytics code where the tracking code is already integrated and Google actually Analytics providing me the analytics information here. Now if you go to the home page once you logged in it will show you the audience overview. What is the audience overview here? How the traffic is flowing on the website? If there is any traffic coming to my website or not in a particular day. And in this is tracking, what it shows is what are the number of users coming, the page views of this, how much time they are spending. All this information is available in an existing Google Analytics code of a website. On here, what you will see is a lot of features and facilities that Google provides. How many real-time users are available right now on the website? What is the overview? The locations where the users are coming to the website, whether they are available or not. And what is the traffic source? What is the source that the users are coming up? Here the complete information here. Behavior of the users, if there is any behavior of the user that it shows here. Then conversions, whether the conversions are happening or not. And the audience, they are coming from, where they are coming from. Geographical location, what is the country, city, they are coming from. All this information can be found by going into all these features. The wealth of information that Google provides you absolutely free to make sure that you can track the results, you can monitor the results, you can check the behavioral patterns of the users who are coming to your website. 
and browsing through the website what are the pages they are visiting how much time they are spending whether people are blocking logging out from the home page itself whether they are going to the internal pages if they are going into internal pages what are the pages they are browsing so on and so forth wealth of information is provided by google analytics for free so that you can improve your business increase your traffic so and more and more people come to your website now that we have seen two live demos one is actually logging into google analytics account for the first time giving the website details providing the complete details regarding my website google actually based on the information that i provide google and is provided me the analytics code i take the code and implement it on integrate on my website the second option that we have seen is an existing website what are the features that are available on google analytics account in conclusion what we have seen in this video is what is google analytics how google analytics works features of google analytics and a live demo of google analytics account thank you so much for watching hope to see you again